Welcome back guys. Today I am thrilled to share my recent caving experience at Phong Nha Ke Bang National Park in Central Vietnam. We spent two days exploring several caves including the world's largest one and I can't wait to tell you all about it. My goal with this video is to provide you with a detailed account of my entire journey from challenges to the fun parts. If you are planning a trip to Vietnam and interested in caving, this video will help you decide if it's something you really want to add to your bucket list. During my exploration, I chose to go with Oxalis Adventure one of the most reputable companies in the area. The specific tour we booked was called Tulan Encounter, which lasted for two days and one night. It included a 15km trek, multiple kilometers of swimming and caving, and was of moderate to high difficulty level. So, get ready to join me on this unforgettable adventure, sit back, relax, and let's begin. <music> Before we dive into the heart of action, first thing first, how to reach there. After landing in Da Nang, we took a scenic train journey to Dong Hoi, which took us about 5 hours. Trust me, the views are worth it and I have included a link to the video of the train journey in the description below. A lot of people travelling to Dong Hoi are there only to further travel to Phong Nha. So, you'll get a lot of transport options from taxis to buses to shared taxis. After reaching Dong Hoi, we decided to book a cab. The journey from Dong Hoi to Phong Nha was a thrilling experience as we travelled through the countryside. Away from the touristy areas, it was a pitch dark night, but that added to the excitement of exploring the raw and non-commercial side of the country. The 50km cab journey took us around 1 hour 30 minutes to reach Phong Nha. Phongna is a very small village but there are several hotels and lodges to choose from including the Oxalis home which unfortunately was booked on that day. We booked a room at a nearby hotel called Highway 20. They provided us with a free bikes to explore the village. We took advantage of this and rode to Oxalis home for dinner. We had a chance to meet the staff there and cleared all our doubts about the trek schedule for the next morning. After the delicious meal, we rode back to our hotel for some rest. <laughs> Filled with anticipation for the upcoming trek, I woke up very early in the morning and ventured out on my bike to explore the charming village. The peaceful community boasted a local school, bustling shops and farmer going to their feeds. Between the melodic chirping of birds and tranquil flow of the nearby river, it was a very beautiful morning that signaled the start of our adventure filled day. Our guide and driver picked us up from the hotel at around 8.30 in the morning. Our group consisted of 9 individuals from across the globe, including a lovely family from the US, a couple from Israel and sisters from Australia. During our 70km drive to Oxalis office in Tanhua village, we quickly got to know each other and became friends. Upon arriving at the office, our guide gave us a short briefing about the trekking itinerary and safety regulations. We then packed our bags, signed the release form and received all the necessary safety equipments required for the trek. We didn't have to worry about carrying all our luggage. The porters took care of that, carrying our bags along with all the foods and necessary groceries directly to the campsite. It was a great relief to have one less thing to worry about and it allowed us to fully focus on the trek. To start with, we hiked around 2.5 kilometers through corn and peanut fields. We were hiking through a vast expanse of mountains in front of us. The sun was beating down on us, but we were all excited for the adventure ahead. By the way, this is the same place where the movie King Kong Skull Island was shot. And this part of mountain was actually there in the movie.
After walking for around 30 minutes, we finally reached the bank of river Raunen. We then strapped on our life jackets and hopped aboard a sturdy boat, ready to conquer the next leg of our adventure. We now had a Herculean task to climb this mountain, which was looking huge. We started climbing up the hill, which was rocky at places. It took us around another one hour to reach at the top. We then reached the entrance of Hong Ton Cave and stopped there for lunch. The members of group chatted while enjoying the local Vietnamese food. The group rested there for 15-20 minutes, while some of us took the opportunity to explore the area around the cave entrance. The terrain ahead became more demanding with steep inclines that required a great level of physical exertion. The path through the rolling hills with rocky outcrops and thick vegetation made it a very challenging but a rewarding trek. As we arrived at the campsite, we were awestruck by the sheer natural beauty that surrounded us. The campsite was located right next to a pristine river that flowed gently by with a beautiful waterfall in the distance. As we explored the campsite, we discovered high quality Swiss tents and a makeshift steam sauna situated in a beautiful spot by the river. It was a perfect place to unwind and relax after a long day of trekking. As we got closer, we saw the porters bustling around a makeshift kitchen. They had set up a few camping stoves, pots and pans and were chopping vegetables and marinating meat for a dinner. In the evening, we donned our life jackets and helmets and hopped on our rafts to make our way towards the Ken Cave situated adjacent to our campsite. The cave was filled with sense of wonder and mystery. The sound of jungle grew louder as we rafted through the cool dark water. We were immediately struck by the beauty of the place. The wall of the cave was adorned with stunning limestone formations and mist from the waterfall created a dreamy atmosphere. It was like we have been transported to a completely different world. We then rafted back to the campsite to unwind ourselves in the river followed by the steam sauna. group gathered for a satisfying dinner, sharing stories and laugh together as they enjoyed a well-deserved meal. I woke up to the sound of river flowing and stunning view of the mountains surrounding us. It was a breathtaking sight to wake up to and I knew it was going to be a great day. As we ate breakfast, we discussed the adventures we had been on so far and what was still to come. After the breakfast, we all gathered together and smiled for the camera, feeling grateful for the experiences we had shared so far. Today was supposed to be the swimming day and we were all ready and raring to go for it. It was a highly anticipated activity and we had all been looking forward to it. As we waded through the water, we could feel the excitement building.
entering the cave was the first big test of the morning. This cave was claustrophobic and we had to tightly squeeze ourselves to get into it. Traversing this cave was much more challenging. We had to crawl through a narrow passageway and climb over rocks. It required a lot of physical effort and mental focus. When we reached the bottom of the hill, we took a moment to appreciate the stunning scenery around us. We also took some shadow pictures which turned out to be a lot of fun. Our adventure was far from over. We now had to swim through Hang Tulan and Hang Kim Caves to reach Tomo Valley. The swimming was for several kilometers inside a dark cave. It was a real test of our stamina and endurance. Swimming in deep water for an extended period can be tiring as it requires constant effort to stay afloat and move forward. We now had to climb a 15 meter steep ladder using the ropes. The ladder was very very steep and slippery. It was a daunting sight but we knew we had to push through. When we finally emerged from the cave, we couldn't contain our excitement and jumped in joy, hugging each other and feeling a sense of accomplishment. The scenes were truly magical. It was something we had never seen before, as if we were on Mars or some outwardly planet. We started the long journey back to the base camp. The fatigue was setting in and we knew we had a tough few hours ahead of us. We pushed ourselves to keep going even though our bodies were tired and our spirits were flagging. Finally, after a grueling two-hour trek, we arrived back at the base camp. We were exhausted and sore, but we were also filled with a sense of pride. We had faced challenges, pushed ourselves beyond our limits and come out on the other side. It was a moment we would never ever forget. <laughs>